Welcome or welcome back to Mars Glow. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you've been keeping safe during this season and warm as well. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. And I was actually contemplating wearing a sweater, but I was like, mm -mm, I don't want to hide the beauty of this top. But I hope you've been keeping warm. I've definitely been having lots and lots of tea, more than I need to, but we need to keep warm during this time and i am excited today because i'm finally coming back with another budget beauty video which from my analytics is actually my most popular video type on my channel you guys really really love these videos and to be honest i really enjoy creating them it does take a while for me to like compile a list because i do go out i do some research I find products online, I find products offline, in the supermarkets, in beauty stores, because I really wanted to come up with a comprehensive list of things that one, you can actually purchase um, locally, and two, things that they definitely vary in price depending on where you buy it but it's still under a thousand bob. So this is actually a part two of a video I did I think it was sometime last year um my top 10 beauty products under a thousand bob part one i'm going to link that for you guys in the description box and up above so please go and check it out but for now let's get into the video so the first product is actually a product that's been pretty new in the market and it's nice and lovely's first ever jelly in cream and it's actually a really unique um body moisturizer i do prefer to use it for my body specifically my hands and that's because it's a petroleum jelly and a cream hybrid so it has the best of both worlds like a cream is really nice and moisturizing to your skin and then petroleum jelly just gives a really nice thick layer over your skin to retain the moisture and i feel like this does such an amazing job like i love using this after i've washed my hands just to moisturize them and also to you know keep them free from flaking or excess dryness and this is actually the small size so this small size goes for about 140 shillings and this is 110 ml and then the jumbo size which is 300 ml goes for about 315 kenya shillings so i feel like this is a really really good investment for anyone looking for a hand cream that you can use either in the house or you just put it on your desk at work i do wish they had like a small let me say 50 ml baron that's in a tube that you can carry with you in your handbag but i definitely have been loving this product so they have two um flavors or like fragrances so there's the coconut oil one and then there's also the shea butter one so the shea butter one is this one with the red cup and then the coconut one is this one with the blue cup like i really love this product if you're looking for a simple moisturizing hand cream i will definitely recommend still on body care this is alison's apricot face and body scrub though i do prefer to use it for my body alone and it's just a simple um regular schmegula body scrub and it's actually something i discovered when i was in the supermarket with my friend and i wasn't really paying attention because we were looking for another product and then she just happened to see it and showed it to me and i was like hmm, interesting and also the price point it was about 200 and something kenya shillings so i thought i will just try it out and so far so good it's not anything extraordinary but it does the job i do like how um mild it is on the skin it's not a very abrasive body scrub so if you're someone who's just looking for something light to use to scrub their body i will definitely recommend as for sensitive skin types i will definitely advise you to patch test and then figure out if it works for you but if you're looking for a really nice simple body scrub to just use um, to exfoliate your skin every now and then and also for a bit of self-care then i will definitely recommend this the next item is this saru organics shea and avocado butter curls pudding 
this product if you have a fro or if you want to like rock your hair in a natural hairstyle either just your regular afro or you want to do like bantu knots or twist outs i definitely recommend for you to check this out it's super hydrating it gives your curls such a beautiful um, bounce to them and I just love how moisturizing it is I think that's the big um, highlight for me with this product I feel like it's very nice and juicy for the hair and sometimes I actually use it as a moisturizer for my hair so it's definitely something I think my naturalistas will like the next item is a skincare product and it's Garnier Skin Active Even and Matte Gentle Cleansing Foam and I've been using this for about six months now. I think this is either my second or third tube and so far so good. I really like how it gives me a nice deep cleanse and I really like how it lathers. Like a little bit of this product goes such a long way and I actually talked about this in my new in beauty video and also in my recent um, affordable skincare routine video i just love how easily it forms up i love that you need such a small amount of it making it really efficient and price friendly as well it is under a thousand bob it goes for about 500 shillings though i've noticed carrefour or rather um i think i should say Garnier. they do tend to have sales every now and then with their different retailers so i usually buy it at carrefour and I actually bought this tube on sale and i also noticed they have sales with their other retailers so be sure to check them out if you're looking for a simple yet effective cleanser for oily skin still on skincare this is cinnabar greens chamomile calendula healing infusion so my skin has just recently really been out of it like i've just been having the craziest breakouts i mean nothing too bad as in my teenage years yo things were bad but nothing too serious but i've just noticed that i've been breaking out a bit more than i used to and i think that has to do with um, internal factors other than you know what I'm doing on the outside but it definitely helps to find a product that can you know lessen the inflammation and just help me get through the breakout easily and I feel like this product has been such an amazing facial oil for this period because it does have healing ingredients like chamomile calendula it does have moringa so i feel like it's been really good at just helping my skin calm down deal with the inflammation and it's actually made for chapped skin rashes sunburn and insect bites and i think just general skin inflammations and it's been working really well for me i do like the size it's 50 ml most um facial oils are usually about 30 ml so you're getting a good amount of product with this plus the price i got this for about 470 shillings plus shipping it was i think maybe 600 and something shillings but it was really affordable so i bought it on kasha.com but i noticed on their website the cinnabar green website it goes for about 800 and something shillings so i was really a bit confused but now you know buy it from kasha i'm going to link all the products that i talk about or rather list them in the description box and also share with you the relevant links and where you can buy them but i definitely think this is something for you guys to check out especially if you have inflamed skin but as usual with skincare always patch test and see if it will work for you because not everything works for everyone so lately i feel like i've been having a bit of an eyeliner phase i don't know if you guys can see my eyes properly today but i've just really been loving going back to lining my eyes i feel like that smoky um defined look for my eyes is something i've really been enjoying rocking and the next product is actually maybelline's colossal kajal eyeliner and i just feel like this product is 
the perfect in between of like a liquid eyeliner and your regular pencil eyeliner i feel like it's like a gel eyeliner but in a pencil form i just love the pigmentation of this product because whenever i'm using eyeliner i'm sure you guys know how annoying it is when you're like trying to line your eyes and the color or the pigment is just not transferring but with this i feel like you do get a decent pigment payoff and also because of the formula it's like a gel eyeliner it's something that is so easy to like smudge out and smoke out and I actually smudge it out a bit to like give me a smoky eye effect so in some ways I actually did use it as an eyeshadow so if you're someone who's maybe like trying to start out in um, using eyeliner and you're like terrified of liquid eyeliner because maybe it needs a steady hand and you just don't want to invest in a gel eyeliner then I think this is something you want to try out okay let's talk nails and the next products are actually glitter um, nail polishes I just love glitter nail polishes I love how they add such a unique like flair to a manicure and I have this one which is like a gold and red um, version then there's this your regular champagne silver glitter nail polish and then this beautiful vibrant purple glitter nail polish so I know sometimes when you think of glitter nail polish you think of like <laughs> a 13 year old but trust me try using them as accents and by that i mean just apply your regular basic nail polish and then you can just apply one of the glitter nail polishes as an accent so it's kind of like what i've done today and i just feel like it gives such a beautiful pop um to your manicure it's something fun it's something different it's something unique and i just love the price so i have done an entire video on luro nail polishes and all of them go for about i think 130 shillings some places it goes for 100 shillings some places it goes for 160 shillings per bottle so it depends on where you buy it but i've noticed they each go for under 200 shillings so it's really nice and affordable and i mean it's glitter nail polish it's really fun so the next item is this Cantu Extra Hold Edge Stay Gel. So I've never been one who's too crazy about laying their edges, but once in a while I do like laying my edges and I've noticed I prefer products that have more of a waxy consistency compared to using something with a gel formula to actually lay my edges I've just noticed the waxier products tend to have a bit of a better hold um, whenever I'm laying my edges and I also feel like waxy products are better for laying your edges when you've straightened your hair because gel does have a bit of like moisture to it so it's going to actually revert your curls so if you are looking to wear your hair all straight and you use a bit of gel to lay your edges sometimes it can actually make it revert so i do like this product i used it in one of my recent videos and so far so good I've noticed that it is a very hard thick product so what I usually do is I actually put a bit of it on the back of my hand and then I blend it out just to warm it up and then it's so much easier for me to actually apply the product the only thing I've noticed that I'm not the biggest fan of is the fact that it doesn't really have um, a long term hold and by that I mean I feel like after like four hours you can see like the hairs around your hairline starting to stand so it won't hold down um, the style or the edges for really long but if you're looking for something to use like for a shoot or if you're not really bothered about how long it lasts then you can check this out next in makeup we have these really pretty natural wispy lashes from cara beauty and i actually bought them from an instagram store called style up with less so you guys allow me to rant a bit so i know in the past like three to four years dramatic lashes have been really in and trust me i do love a bit of drama on the lashes so i also do wear like super 
um well let me not say super but <laughs> i do like rocking a bit of you know a dramatic lash every now and then but generally i do love reaching for the natural wispy type of lashes and i've just noticed it's been so hard like so so hard to actually find natural lashes in the kenyan market like most lash stores some of them don't even stock natural lashes at all and i understand it's because you know they're stocking what's really in and where there's a lot of demand but i'm just like <laughs> bring back natural lashes like bring them back in stock so i actually found out about them from one of my followers on my instagram page and actually had to go on my stories and put a question sticker because i had searched everywhere like every single place and the only places that had lashes that are this natural they were selling ardell um wispy lashes and those are priced so much higher than these regular lashes so it was a struggle but finally i found style up with less and i'm telling you they had such brilliant variety i was just so grateful and i was just so relieved to have finally found natural lashes so if you're watching this video and you stock eyelashes please also stock natural lashes there's still a market for it especially for beginners who you know they're a bit afraid of just jumping in to super dramatic bold lashes i definitely feel like they're missing a market for that so please stock them and then last but not least is this nice and lovely styling gel with extra firm hold so i had watched so many videos of people talking about this hair gel and for the longest time i've just been watching and i'm like hmm let's see let me think about it and then finally when i was in the supermarket one day and i was in the beauty aisle i saw it i saw the price i saw the size i wanted a small um jar because i don't use gel that much and i was like let me just give it a try and i was really impressed with the slaying or laying power <laughs> with how well it actually laid down my hair so if you're looking for a really nice affordable gel to just use for special occasions or you know when you want to wear a slick back look then i will definitely recommend you check this out my only issue with this is it's pretty drying on the hair like it felt a bit flaky um after a while which i didn't like and i could tell my hair was feeling a bit dry so a tip would be to actually moisturize your hair seal it with an oil and then go in with this just so that you can reduce the impact of the dryness but if you're looking for an affordable hair gel this is it and that's it those are my top 10 beauty products under a thousand bob be sure to check out part one like i said i'm going to link it down in the description box for you guys and i apologize for the noise there's a bit of some noise outside but i'm just really grateful to every one of you guys who's been liking my videos commenting sharing <sighs> like it means so so much and there are some days where it gets discouraging to create but just seeing all the love you guys pour into what i'm doing really motivates me so subscribe if you haven't send my videos to your friends to your family tell them to subscribe why not and we're almost at 400 subscribers so please be sure to click on the subscribe button and also be sure to click on the notification bell as well and i can't wait to see you guys in my next video mafenzi tele